All the vendors make, bake, or grow up what they sell here. It's coming to the market fresh Saturday morning, and there's nothing better. This is all about getting local products out to our customers. We're all partners here at the farmer's market. That's one of the beauties of the farmer's market is getting to know your producers and building that relationship. For me, that's the most beautiful part of the farmer's market. We're an authentic farmer's market, which means all our members make it, bake it, grow it, or gather everything they sell. Like that's one of our checks and balances to make sure all our producers are selling what they actually are making themselves so you know you're getting something local. The other thing that's nice is we're actually a cooperative. We've been a cooperative since 1975 so all our vendors are members of the cooperative and we work together to really carry this this farmer's market ahead. The family actually is one of the founding members of Simpkins Market Garden and uh, I just grew up into it. Saskatoon Farmer's Market originally started in 1975. It originally started outdoor for like spring, summer, fall and then they were able to find indoor venues. It varied year to year for the first few years. One of the things that I really like about the farmer's market is that you get to have uh, sort of a one-to-one -one relationship with the vendors. You know, you can actually, you know, speak directly to the customer and the customer can, you know, speak directly to the, to the producer. That's one of the beauties of the farmer's market is getting to know your producers and building that relationship. And they're really quite passionate about, you know, what food they're eating, what they're putting in their bodies, about supporting local. Um, but it also comes back to that relationship. They're building, you know, the families, especially, you know, the parents are building a relationship with that person. And then their kids grow up with that connection as well. And it's nice to see, you know, you know former kids who are now grown up and they're still, they're continuing on that relationship with the vendors. There, there's definitely quite a few regulars that come every week or every other week and you get to know them, you know, not, not just by their face, but also by their name as well, yeah. Obviously locally produced produce, it's not on the trucks very long, you know, they're picking through the week and it's coming to the market fresh Saturday morning or Sunday morning and there's nothing better. It's basically as fresh as, as can be because uh, short of the carrots and some of our potatoes here, uh, everything was harvested like literally yesterday. Other than the quality being much higher at the farmer's market, the money's staying in the province. You know, you're supporting other local families um, and small farmers, um, by supporting local, you're really supporting yourself because all the money stays here. It's not going to some big corporation, it's not going to the states. You're seeing the person you're supporting and they're spending their money locally as well. So for us, local is you have to be a resident of Saskatchewan. We do allow in our um, bylaws a very small percentage um, of out of province, provided it's something that cannot be produced in Saskatchewan. So our small percentage is Little Quail Ridge Orchards, who is the fruit truck from BC, um, because we can't really grow peaches in any significant quantities in Saskatchewan, so that served the, that exception. We're not a fruit growing province, and there's a demand for it, so in that case, local would be like Canadian produced, um, and the customers still get to deal with the people producing it. We try to have as many community events here, which we don't charge for, because we like having that community feeling, being part of the community and supporting the community here. It's a free outing, is you know, obviously like we have kids areas um, for the kids to do some coloring, play games, and it's also a great education for kids. So everyone likes to joke about how no one knows like, you know, where milk comes from anymore or where vegetables because you just get it at the store and it magically appears there. So a trip to the farmer's market is a great way for kids to learn where their food comes from. We probably have one of the better selections of local meat with everything like your usual pork, beef, chicken, but you can also get bison, wild boar, goat, and turkey as well. Year round we grow a lot of vegetables and harvest quite a few during the months of uh, September, October, and early November, basically harvesting about six months worth of product, which we can sell through the winter. So obviously in the winter, it's hard to grow produce. So we have more root vegetables available in the winter months. And then as we roll into spring, um, it's really quite beautiful to see, especially customers' reaction, because the first produce of the season is usually the asparagus, and you get 
all those fans out and then you're slowly rolling into summer and peas and spinach obviously you know August September is when you know harvest time tradition so we just there's so much available um, it's beautiful and then Christmas season we, is much more like the baking season where you get your specialty baked goods from your basic like loaves of bread to specialty baked items macarons pretty much everything you can get at the grocery store plus some that you can't even get there if you're looking to start to shop local, just start with one product and just come and try one thing. Add one new thing um, to your diet. Like carrots are a really easy sell because farm carrots are so much tastier than grocery store carrots. You know, adding something new that you haven't tried before. So we're open uh, year round, Saturdays 8 to 2 and Sundays 10 to 3 at our home base in 2600 Coyle Avenue. And then we're open seasonally, spring, summer, and probably a bit of the fall, Wednesdays 3 to 7. And you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. And then our website is sastoonfarmersmarket.com. If you want to become a vendor, you just need to come to the office. We have applications and do interviews year round. And as long as you make it, bake it, grow it or gather it, we can figure something out. If you have program ideas you'd like to see on Max TV Local, let us know at sastel.com slash local.